Sports Nation. Uh, we are happy to welcome back to Studio B the BYU Sports Nation West Coast Conference Women's Soccer just Player. Naming of the year. her the Player of the Year already. Elise Flake. <laughs> What's up, Elise? Uh, actually, are, are you cool if we just call you Elite Flake from now on? <laughs> That's a new one. Okay. Is that, is that okay? Yeah. No, there's a lot of uh, you know hesitancy unless the person deserves it, and you absolutely <laughs> deserve it. So let's let's talk about your senior year. Uh, 17 goals. I know you were hoping for 18, uh, but yeah, 17 goals. Incredible. So. Undefeated two seed. Has this season gone about as well as you wanted? Yeah, it's better than we could have hoped for. So we're just super excited. And every game we've been getting better. So that's all we want. Tell me, elite. How does it feel to be the yeah, only undefeated right. team <laughs> in America? It's pretty awesome. That's a big accomplishment. When when did you know before the season? Okay, we have a special group. We could we could do something that would be forever in the uh, annals of BYU soccer. Yeah, I think once last season ended, we kind of just set our goals high, and we knew that it would be a special group, especially with so many returners. But. With that amount of returners, um, did you feel like okay, this group we can do something special? And and I guess what is special to this group? Yeah, I mean, we sat down as a team and we're like, okay, we're gonna win conference. That's our first goal. Um, and then go farther than any other team has ever gone at BYU. So make it to the Final Four. That'll be pretty sweet. So that would be sweet. And that's kind of the only thing that this program hasn't kind of done yet. Yeah. And uh, it's 25th year with Jen Rockwood. Um, how have you guys kind of celebrated that with her? And, and sort of has that been a motivating factor at all for you guys? Yeah, I think so. It's something that a lot of fans, a lot of people bring up all the time. And so it's super exciting for us. There's a lot that we're playing for, including Jen. We play for Jen every, every game. So it's been fun seeing her success as well. Yeah, well, sincere congratulations on an incredible undefeated season, now a number two seed in the NCAA tournament. What do you think of receiving a two seed in the brackets? We're happy with it, yeah. We never really know how it's going to go at BOU. Sometimes they don't give us the best best seed, but mm -hmm. we are kind of hoping for a two, but kind of expecting a three. So when we got the two, we were pumped, and the fact that we get to host three games will be incredible. So. It feels like there wasn't much you could have done to really deserve a one, like, Right? Yeah. You did everything you possibly could to get the highest seed. Yeah, we're happy with two. And two was fair, yeah. Mm -hmm. You get up to three home games. Um, the first home game against Boise State on Friday. How do you feel about uh, the first round, which the stakes are much higher now? Yeah, it's exciting. I think we just need to treat it like any other game, but we're super excited. It's a new kind of stage of the, of the season. So, How much do you know about Boise State women's soccer right now? Honestly, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to get but, on that. Yeah. <laughs> and in certain sports, you guys will look at film of the opponent and assess how you're going to attack that. Soccer is interesting. Like you could really just look at yourselves and probably be okay. How do? You, what's that process like for you guys in terms of uh, opponent preparation? Yeah, we do look at their some of their game film. Our coaches will go through it. We don't really watch the game film, but our coaches will go through it and kind of give us specific things that kind of their tendencies and stuff. Um, but most of all, we just focus on like what our strengths are because we know that if we can play well, then we can be anybody. So, so you'll have a scouting report like uh, this defender's good in the air, maybe avoid her, yeah. whatever. Something yeah. Like that. Yeah. yeah, just their key players and their tendencies as a team. So. so do you know like, oh, the goalie favors this area or those kind of things that weighs into a decision of where you'll go with the ball? Or is it just kind of I'm going to go where I kind of feel and, and the angle I'm at and that kind of yeah, stuff? Yeah, I feel like most of it's just kind of on me because I feel mm -hmm. like I kind of dictate what the keeper does and so it doesn't really matter as much what they do so <laughs> <laughs> i love it yeah love it. hey 17 goals backs it up <laughs> absolutely yeah. elise flake with us on byu sports nation clearly as you just mentioned this team has bigger aspirations than just an opening round win over boise state but then you have the challenge of staying in the moment focusing on the opponent at hand. so how do you do that how do you approach that so that you you keep your big goals in mind, but you still are focused on the moment. Yeah. One thing Jen talks to us a lot about um, as we were going through WCC play, our goal is obviously to win the West Coast Conference, but every single game matters as much as the other one. And so whether it's our first game or last game of conference, it all goes into our, our record in conference. And so it's the same thing with the tournament. Like, yeah, we need to win six games to win national championship. And so every single one is just as important as the next. So just game at a time. Like the worst interview question that anyone could ever ask, like you're applying for a job, is what are your weaknesses, right? <laughs> and I look at the the team that you have this year, and it's unbelievable. I'm like, I don't know that there is a weakness. <laughs> like the back end is incredible. You return the the goalie and the uh, Sabrina Davis and the four. The midfielders, you injected some youth with uh, Jamie Shepard and S J uh, Affleck, and then up top the trio. Of course, you guys scored a bajillion goals. What, what's it been like to feel like you know what? We can't. We are better in every spot on the field every game. Yeah, I think that's what gives us confidence every game is just being confident in each other and trusting each other. So. Elise Flake on BYU Sports Nation. The Cougars preparing for Boise State this Friday. What's the practice regime like this week now as you go into tournament mode? Yeah, I think 
similar to what we've been doing for the last few weeks, just kind of focusing on our strengths, focusing on the little things we can kind of critique. We've been getting better at lots of different things this season, but I think just kind of coming down to the little details and just making everything even better. What is the typical practice like for BYU women's soccer? Um, warm up for 15, 20 minutes, and then we usually do some possession type drills, kind of get our feet moving, get our minds thinking a little bit, and then we'll move into some bigger possession or sometimes um, with goals or with um, scoring, um, different drills with that, um, but mostly just possession, lots of stuff with um, – Sometimes we'll do um, different movements with the team, and so that's kind of helpful as we get in, uh, as we prepare for the games. Um, but mostly just kind of high energy and kind of competing. That's the biggest thing. Those are the most fun practices, at least, is where we're just yeah. playing fun drills where we compete. So I want to apologize to you. I shortchanged you a goal. I pulled up a, a stat sheet that wasn't updated. You have 18 goals. <laughs> You have 18 goals. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was awesome. Um, what's been more impressive to you as a team, the 68 you've scored or the nine you surrendered? Both impressive numbers. Yeah, that's a good question. I think they kind of go hand in hand. I don't know. Why was this team different compared to some really talented teams that you have been on the in the past? Um, I think, like I said earlier, we all just trust each other and we – believe that we can do big things and so I think just that camaraderie with the whole team has been awesome this year um, with our coaches too I think they've done a great job of kind of encouraging that and just focusing on our strengths so uh, the weather seems like it's going to be awesome Friday yeah that's it's kind of lucky right yeah in mid-November <laughs> how do you feel about uh, the nation's number one attended uh, or fan base showing up for a great weather game yeah it's incredible we are so lucky to have so many fans so it'll be what, fun. what year was it Elena Medeiros's year senior year or something you might have been a freshman or barely before 2016 where all the snow was scraped off fans <laughs> were encouraged to <laughs> come take i think it was against utah state um yeah it, it took for, we're not going to have that this week. no no we're good <laughs> we don't know about next week um potentially it, it, when if and when you win right uh hey friday night we but. anticipate uh, temperatures low 50s high 40s should be pleasant that's Perfect. awesome BYU has earned this they have earned this weather after that's everything awesome. they've gone through what, being a two seed being undefeated senior all that how are you how are you feeling are you are you calm are you a little anxious because of the moment like how do you feel going into this situation Last week was a little bit emotional. Just we ha we had our senior night and a couple just like team activities, kind of celebrating that. Um, but now I think we're all just excited because we know what we can accomplish, and so we're excited to see how far we can go and change. What has previous NCAA tournament experience for you done to help you prepare for this time around? Yeah, I think especially last year, you know, losing first round at TCU was huge for us. Just that we don't want to feel that again. We don't want to be um, in that situation. So we know that. We just want to push harder and do all we can to do what we can for our team. Okay. Elise, we're going to give you some BYU Sports Nation karma. You know how it works. It's not it like you work. even need it, uh, but we're going to give it to <laughs> you, you know, anyway. You know how it works. Yeah. Okay. Yep. No more explanation necessary. 18 goals. And uh, congratulations <laughs> on being the West Coast Conference Player of the Year, according to BYU Sports Nation. <laughs> thanks. That's going to come out soon. You're going to be. Congratulations. <laughs> awesome year. We're excited for Friday. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Elise. Okay, coming up.